Well, Growers Edge, I think, has made us more money by allowing me to survey the local bids that I'm in the area that I want to sell my grain. The local elevators and the ethanol plants know that this information is is out there, so they've got to be competitive if they want to get the grain. You know, we've been able to uh, maximize our return on our farm. Good afternoon. Welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is Monday, October 28th, and we had some hard selling in the grain markets today. Let's turn right over to the Fire Tip trading platform and see where we closed off the day. Corn for December down nine and a quarter cents. Beans for November trading down 28 and three quarters. Wheat in Chicago down nine and three quarters. And Kansas City wheat trading off eight and a quarter cents. Logan, what's the reason for all the selling here today? Well, you know, it really seemed like the soybean complex was leading the grains lower in today's action. Coming out of the weekend, we did hear some grumblings that planting conditions in South America were improving. Certainly, that's going to start becoming a bigger focus for the soybean market here as we move forward. But really adding on to weakness in the November soybean contract was real weakness out of soy meal. We've seen the soy meal market really support soybean futures over the last several weeks. We saw that market trade through some important technical levels early in the trade session. And it seemed like November soybeans here really followed suit. As you can see here from the chart, once we got below $13 a bushel, uh, the bottom kind of fell off and we really closed quite hard here on the day toward the lows. You know, there's also some grumbling or some talks really yeah. in the market that uh, there was a lot of farmer selling over the weekend and not so much for corn, but for soybeans in yeah. particular. I think that is one of those things that once we start hearing those talks of farmer selling, that yeah. that's going to put some pressure on prices here going forward. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, we had some hard selling today. Day. Do you think this price, this sell-off is going to continue in the overnight session? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a little bit of continued uh, weakness to start off the overnight session. After the trade day was ended today, we did get the uh, USDA crop progress and condition report. Take a look here at this slide. You can see that there was exceptional progress made on corn harvested acreage uh, just over the last week here, up to 59%. That's one of the largest week-over-week -week improvements uh, that's ever been seen for this corn crop. So that should weigh on things a little bit. Soybeans more in line with trade expectations, 77% now harvested. We're no longer getting a good to excellent rating for soybeans, but corn did improve a bit here on the week, 62%. So, you know, to answer your question, Cody, certainly it seems like the fundamentals that we got after the market was closed would continue to weigh on things. Uh, kind of just adding to some of that bearish technical sentiment that we saw toward the end of the market day. You know, for traders out there, uh, as we move forward in the week, I think one of the big uh, events is going to be Thursday for the export sales report. Yeah. Make sure you keep that on your radar because we're going to have three different weeks released. Remember, uh, the government shut down. It kind of postponed all these right. reports, and they're all going to be landing on us on Thursday for the week uh, ending of, uh, let's see, the 10th, the 17th, and the 24th, those right. are all going to be dropping, and I would assume that that is going to be uh, market moving numbers there uh, on Thursday. Yeah, you know, a lot of speculation, a lot of, or a lot of traders very interested to see how much the Chinese were in the corn and soybean markets here uh, during that government shutdown. In today's action, we saw the export inspections report come out, and it was massive for soybeans, but obviously you can see here from the, from the settled prices, uh, buy, or traders weren't really biting on that bullish news. We'll have to see if Thursday is a little bit of a different story, though, for the bean market in particular. In general, that's what we saw here for uh, a Monday in the grain market that saw a lot of selling. We'll see you back here Tuesday to break it down.